Hello guys, my name is Joy Mokanya. I'm a CEO and founder at JT Terms. For today's video, we're going to look at some examples of how we can create a function. And then let's start the behavior by defining a function. So the function is just a block of statement. Yeah? That will be a short answer. Okay. So I like to make things simple as one of my, well, uh, our slogan is to make code easy. So, so that's why we are here for to make uh, the code look easy and easy to understand as well. So you guys have to subscribe. <laughs> so, uh, statement. Okay, that'll be it. And then let's jump on example one. So this one will go on top. Okay, so before we have to create a function, so we have to know what the name that we're going to use on our function. Because the name is also important because you're going to make some uh, the guy or another developer their life easy to understand what you're up to. So we start with the keyword function and then uh, the function now. So now let's call the function. Here's the result. What if uh, we comment it? Then there will be no output. Okay, there's no output. Okay, that will be interesting. Then, so I'm just going to move the section in here. Then let's provide for a second example. So this will be example two. So as you can see on the previous example, uh, example one, uh, we every time, okay, so let me just run it. And then I just want to show you the difference between example one and example two. So this is what we did on example one. So what if we call again the same function, what will be, what will be the result? It's still going to display the same result. Why? Because there is no argument. So let's specify the arguments. So we have num1 and num2. We're just going to change this one to num2 and add to num1. Then when you call a function, then it must for us to provide the value because uh, we specify the argument. So this is going to be the value for num1 and then the value for num2. Oh, sorry. So I type, num, I type in num2. Then I need, we need a value. 
So let's do the same thing for, for this one here. We pass 11, then we pass 12. So I save my work, then we refresh, and we got different results. Okay. So let's see, for example, 3. So on the example 3, so I'm still going to use the same function name. Okay, so instead of, because uh, in this case, if uh, you try to pass uh, the third argument, I try to pass the third argument and see what would be. I'm just going to refresh it again. Then it just did uh, the sum of those two numbers. It just ignored this one, the third argument. But in other program language like Python or C++ or C Sharp, are you going to encounter an error? So let's sort it out. So for this, I'm going to display first the first argument, which is will be num one, and then for the from the second argument, I want to allow the user to pass any value. As, uh, as they wish. So we'll, we'll specify three dots before the argument. So in Python, we're using a star. No, a star, where is, where are you at? Yeah, so in, this is going to be applicable in Python only. So in JavaScript, we need to use three dots. Okay, so it, this one, the data type of this one, it will be um an array or a collection so let me have a look we we'll see what will be okay let's display for the let this display the value of the second argument then i'm just going to specify a rgs Okay, so the first argument was for num1, and then from here all the way to the end of the value, that would be, uh, that would be, uh, to replace, uh, will be, so in order, in order to access it, we can access it via uh, ARGS argument. So if you don't believe me, so let's see the output. So this one, I'm sure it should be a collection in array. So in JavaScript, we, we work with arrays. So let's see. So, okay. So using an array. So the first value after the first argument. Uh, so that was four. Uh, 34, 7, all the way to 15. Okay. Then once we get to array, we'll see how we can access each one of them. And then if you, you want to get a sum of all that, then we'll do that as well. Once we get to arrays, but not for now. Okay. Okay, for the fourth example, we are going to define another function. We will say function function. Yeah, this one will just two arguments. Num one and num two. Now we say return num one. Okay. So with the return statement, we just it's going to allow us to 
to all the value then later on when we call this function we can just display it wherever we want to display it so this time I'm going to write it on the document we say document dot write Okay, that's it. Let's have a look at the results. Okay. That was on the document. Now we just have to check on the concept of log. Okay, thank you guys. Please subscribe, share, and love this video.